Today I wanted to talk about time, the nature of it, and how we perceive it. Psychedelic experiences have led me to believe that time as we perceive it is an illusion. That is to say that this impression of a linear flowing time is not reflective of the true nature of time. So I'm sure many of you know that psychedelics can drastically alter your perception of time. I've had many experiences in which I felt that I had transcended time. You get to a point in some trips and time seems unreal. It seems non-existent maybe. There's a lot of different themes with this sort of feeling under psychedelics. Um, one of them is this idea that everything is now, that, you know, this sort of idea of a ter an internal present. Similar ideas is just more generally feeling that you've transcended time, that time is not passing, feeling moments of eternity, feeling like you are in some sort of infinite, um, eternal space. But I think one thing I can say for sure, after many experiences of altered time perception, is that I really do think our normal perception of time, this linear, one-way flow, is an illusion. Now, psychedelics aren't the only thing that makes me think that. I also consider ideas like relativity. Um, now, I'm not going to pretend that I completely understand the concepts, and I'm not even going to touch on general relativity, but special relativity is not incredibly difficult to grasp. Um, basically, you know, the idea is that the speed of light is constant for all observers, and there's this conception of space-time as this, this one thing. As a direct consequence of this, we get a phenomenon known as time dilation. So, the basic idea is that moving clocks tick slower. That's really all I'm going to say about it, but the main point that I have here is this also presents the idea that the way we perceive time is an illusion. So what do I think the true nature of time is if I think that the way we typically perceive it is an illusion? So I think I subscribe to the idea that time all exists at once. I really do think that all of time, all of it just sort of exists at once and there's really no adequate language for this because the very phrase exist at once is already implying some concept of time so it's really hard to talk about this with language but you can kind of imagine it like space, you know. We accept the idea that space just all exists at once so just I think time has a nature like that more than we perceive it to have. You know, we don't perceive time to have this sort of nature, but I really do think time does have this sort of nature. Okay, so I want to go back to that idea where I said everything is now, so that I've had the experience that, you know, it's sort of, it's all now and an experience of the eternal present. So I want to share something from Be Here Now. It's, you know, it's obviously a psychedelic classic. Um, there's more in, in this book about time, but this is just one thing that I wanted to share. At this moment, if you set the alarm to get up at 3.47 this morning, and when the alarm rings and you get up and turn it off and say, what time is it? You'd say, now. Here. Now where am I? Here. <laughs> then go back to sleep. Get up at 9 tomorrow. Where am I? Here. What time is it? Now. By 4.32, three weeks from next Thursday, by God it is, there's no getting away from it, that's the way it is, that's the eternal present. You finally figure out that it's the only, that it's only the clock that's going around, it's doing its thing, but you're sitting here right now always. So I want to pair this with something from a different book. This is Brian Greene, The Fabric of the Cosmos. I literally just picked this up. I think it says $2.99 right here. I didn't really put much thought into it, but I thought it sounded cool. So I so I did talk a little bit about special relativity and this idea of space-time all sort of existing at once. 
This conception of time is significantly different from the one most of us have internalized. Even though it emerged from his own insights, Einstein was not hardened to the difficulty of fully observing, of fully absorbing such a profound change in perspective. Einstein said that the problem of the now worried him seriously. He explained that the experience of the now means something special for man, something essentially different from the past and the future, but that this important difference does not and cannot occur within physics, that this experience cannot be grasped by science seemed to him a matter of painful but inevitable resignation. There's also some more in here. To experience illumination is to be alive, to be the present, to be the now. The concept of change has no meaning with respect to a single moment in time. The change would have to occur in time. The change would mark the passing of time. But what notion of time could that possibly be? By definition, moments don't include the passing of time. At least not the time we're aware of, because moments just are. They're the raw material of time. They don't change. A particular moment can no more change in time than a particular location can move in space. If the location were to move, it would be in a different location of space. If a t moment in time were to change, it would be a different moment of time. The intuitive image of a projector light that brings each new now to life just doesn't hold up to careful examination. Instead, every moment is illuminated and every moment remains illuminated. Every moment is under close scrutiny. The flowing river of time more closely resembles a giant block of ice with every moment frozen into place. So how do we synthesize these two ideas? The, you know, our direct experience of the now, of the present, and the idea that it doesn't really exist, um, or that you can't really define it. And I think that's where we solve that. Um, I don't know the answers to anything, and I don't know who we are. I don't know what we are as human beings. I don't know what consciousness is. I think some part of our own consciousness and the nature of ourselves transcends time and space. And that is some sort of eternal present that you're sort of, you see all, everything laid out from. Um, you know what, there's another thing in this book. You can get far enough in, you can see karma, you can see patterns unfolding of which this life is only a part of a mosaic. But in order to do that, you have to have left the gravitational field of time and space as a matrix. You can't think in time and space. You can't be in your thoughts anymore because your thoughts are still in time and space. You can't get out of time through them. You've got to be outside of that. You've got to be in the place where you see your own conception, birth, childhood, adolescence, maturity, age, death. And not only that, and not only that one, but that one and that one and that one too. So this idea that you're sort of this, this observer like outside of time and space, and I guess this is the, the one mind thing. It's, it's all the same thing. It's all the same self. You're outside of time and space. And that's, that's, you know, we're all connected to that in some way. So we experience this now, this eternal feeling of the present. But, you know, if we're actually just looking at time and space and we're in time and space and we're just, we're just trying to define that, we can't really explain the feeling of the present. Anyway, I, I didn't really have a... Uh, a plan of the direction I wanted this video to go. I just really wanted to talk about time. I may make some more put together videos on ideas about time later on. Um, and you know, all these ideas are open to debate. I sort of really just like to play around with a lot of different ideas. I don't know. I don't know what anything is. But yeah, uh, do you think time is an illusion? At least in some sense, because um, in some sense, I mean, obviously time exists, but do you think our perception of time is an illusion? Or what do you think the nature of time is? And, you know, what have, what insights have psychedelics given to you into the nature of time? That's the insights that I've gotten, and that's what I've collected. So that's going to be it for this video.